Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to another Pokemon Go video. This is where we talk about using the hacked version. This is the tele, the tele hack, what I like to call it. And today I'm going to talk about soft bands, okay? And what they are, what to expect when you get a soft band, and how to get out of a soft band as fast as possible. Okay, so. Let's do this together, guys. So I'm at my home. Oh, I'm going a little too fast there. I'm going to go up here. We're going to visit a normal Pokestop here. That's right here, this one. And you'll see. There we go. All right, collecting my Pokemon. And we'll go to this one here. Oh, Magikarp. Got to get the Magikarp. Because I am going to be doing a video soon, hopefully, where I evolve a Magikarp. Here we go. Let's grab this guy. There we go. And I will show you how many I have right now. I think I have uh, over a hundred. Let's see. It'll tell us right now. Magikarp. So I have, oh, I have 253. So on my way to the 400, you can see there, to evolve this bad boy to Gyarados. And I really wanted to do the 400 because I want it. That's going to be really cool when we involve that guy. So anytime I see one, I'm going to get one. But back to the soft band. So here we go. I'm going to show you as we teleport here. Let me get my teleport there. Okay, we're going to teleport to just some random place. And I'm going to show you what happens when you teleport and forget to go home before you catch the Pokemon. Remember, you have to go home. Home, 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 home. I made the mistake of not going home many times because I got so excited when I caught a really cool Pokemon or or one popped up and I forgot to go home before I caught it and I got soft band every single time. So here we go. We're just going to get soft band on purpose together. Let me get a uh, some coordinates here to teleport. All right, let's go. So we're on Poke Snipers like I've showed you before in the past. So Poke Snipers. And if you haven't seen that video, how to catch Pokemon Poke Snipers, Make sure you go check it out, okay? It'll be in the description below how to use Poke Snipers or how to catch any Pokemon you want that or something like that. Okay, so let's go to, let's just find, just because we want to do something cool. All right, Aerodactyl right here. In four, uh, Dragonite, Dragonite. Let's get Dragonite. So let me copy these coordinates. I hate copying this. It's so hard sometimes. There we go. Copy. Let's go back to Pokemon. Oh, yeah, be careful of that. It kind of does it a lot. It just runs randomly. Okay, so let's teleport. We're going to paste and delete the second set of coordinates, including the comma. Paste again. And I delete the first set of coordinates. There we go. And now here we go. Oops, we're going to no, we're gonna go. Yes, 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 let's move. Okay, there we go. We've teleported now. Now, that Pokemon, there we go, the Pokemon's going to show up, and I'm like, oh, of course, oh, no, 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 ah, why, this is the worst time for this to happen, your Pokemon box is full, you can't buy, okay, so I'm just going to click OK real fast and get rid of a Pokemon or transfer uh, something really, really quick, let's transfer this Charmander here, uh, we're going to transfer, yes, oops, move this, transfer, Yes. Okay, so let's just try to catch it now. Oh, and it's gone. Oh, of course. <sighs> what a bummer. Well, let's see if he comes back. Let's see. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry I, was, I didn't have my... I have too many Pokemon right now. And I don't ever like to buy things. So, um, oh, let's see. It still says it's close. So, let's see if we can get it. Because this is not the way I want to show you. Okay, we're going to stop this. We're going to stop this. We're just going to show you a brand new one. Again, here we go. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this again, guys. I'm so sorry. <sighs> this is what happens. Okay, let's refresh this. And that's sometimes you got to refresh it, okay? All right, here we go. So let's grab this... I have a sore Aerodactyl. Let's grab this Aerodactyl, okay? Or who cares? Anyone? I don't care. This Ivasaur. Here we go. Ivysaur? Ivasaur? I, I don't know. I say different. 
Okay, Aerodactyl, I guess it is. <laughs> it refreshed. So here we go. Let's grab this Aerodactyl. This is supposed to be really quick. Here we go. All right, teleport. Let's put in the coordinates. Let's paste. Um, let's delete the second set of coordinates, including the comma. Let's paste again. Delete the first set of coordinates. Let's do this right. You're gonna do. You're gonna be way better than me, guys. You're gonna be pros. All right, now we hit OK. Yes, move. We understand. We're going too fast. All right, let's see. There it is. Okay, so now, boom. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna try to catch it. Okay, without without uh, going home. Oh, I gotta catch it though. There we go. And then instantly, it's gonna run away because. And there it goes, and see you later. Because I forgot to go home. I forgot to hit teleport and select and go to my my home. But now what I'm going to do, once that happens, you're still in the location that you teleported. So be sure to click in the teleport, go to select, go to your collected that you've collected already and set up as your home. There you go. And hit OK. You're going you're gonna to move. Yes, move. OK, now I'm back home. Now when I'm home, you're going to notice right away, I'm not going to be able to collect any, there we go, anything from any Pokestops. So I am officially soft banned, okay? So now, this is what we're going to do. This is how you get out of a soft ban, okay? So I'm going to set myself up here so I can do this quickly. What you're going to do is you're going to enter a Pokestop 40 times, literally 40 times. I just did it once, and it has to be on the same one. Okay, guys, make sure it's on the same one. So here we go. Uh, this is going to be my, oh, no, not that one. Got to be the same one. So I just did this one. Okay, so I've done it once. Now I'm going to do it kind of quickly twice, but you have to spin it. Okay, so two, that's two. There we go. Three, four, five. I'm going to keep counting. Six. But I'm going to speed this video up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Twenty. Okay, we're halfway there, guys. Twenty more. Thirty. Ten more. Thirty-nine. It should be one more. It should be the last one if I count it right. Yeah, 40. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, great. So now the soft man is no longer being enforced here. I can move this out of the way, and you'll see that I can now go anywhere and grab a Pokestop here, spin it, and grab my my items there. So soft man is now gone. And remember, when you pick your Pokestop after you've been soft man, Pick one and stay in that particular one, okay? Um, and just go in and out several times, okay? It's going to be 40 times. It's done it every single time I've got soft ban. I've always been able to come back, catch Pokemon, and collect Pokeballs and different items after I have spun a Pokestop 40 times. So there you go, guys, okay? If you get soft ban while playing the telehacked version of Pokemon Go, that's how you get rid of it, okay? Awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have a ton of Pokemon that are spawning here. So I'm going to grab these Pokemon. And you guys be sure to click that subscribe button, okay? For more cool videos on how to play the Telehack version of Pokemon Go. And you guys be awesome. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've been soft banned before. And if this tip helps you get out of the soft ban quickly. Okay, guys? All right, guys, thanks for checking it out, and be sure to visit us for another video. See you later, guys. Bye.